Hi there, Stan Crew. So today we're going to talk about using Google Docs and how you can use Google Docs so that you can not only work with one another on collaborative projects, but also how you can use them in conjunction uh, with building your portfolio. So the first step in this whole process is we're going to go ahead and head to Google.com. So when you get to Google.com, you're going to click on the big sign-in button that's in the upper right-hand corner of your web page. Once you've signed in with your Gmail address, what you're going to do is you're going to look for a doc or for a link called the Documents. Now this is located in the black bar on the top of your browser window, kind of in the middle or so. Now this is going to take you to a page with a list of all of your documents, and these are organized with the most recently accessed document at the top of this list. Now, working with Google Docs is easy, and we can either create documents right from the web, or we can actually import documents um, from our computer. Now, when you go to create a document, you click on the red Create button, and it gives you a variety of different document types that you can create. Documents like a Word document, presentations like PowerPoint, spreadsheet is like Excel. So we don't have to worry a whole lot about these. What we're going to worry about primarily today is just that top one called Document. Now, to import a document, we're going to click right on the um, kind of uh, hard drive looking button right there. Click right on files and this is going to pull up a window that's going to allow us to select a document um, from our computer. I've created a sample one here and click on the open button. We want to make sure that our upload settings are um, set just like you see them here and we're going to hit start upload and that's going to open up a little progress bar over on the right hand bottom right hand side of your screen that lets you know when your documents finished. Go ahead and click right on your document right there that you uploaded and now it opens up your document just like you would see it in Microsoft Word. This operates just like any word processing document might. And so you see a list of file menus across the top, as well as a bunch of formatting buttons. And this allows you to go ahead and edit your document, uh, change the format of it, change the, the way that it looks. All the kinds of things that you're uh, used to or accustomed to with Microsoft Word. So while Google Docs doesn't have all the functionality of Microsoft Word, it is a great tool and it's free and it makes working collaborative really easy. So I think one of the best features about Google Docs is sharing. And so let's take a look at how we can share a document. So the first thing that we're going to do is going to be to click on that blue share button in the upper right hand corner and then to enter the email address of the person that we want to share our document with. This sends an email to the person that you want to work with and it gives them permission to both see and edit the document um, that you've shared with them. And we'll see what that looks like in a minute. So as an example, let's pretend here that Allie um, wants to talk with Dr. Hux about part of her document. Now using the comment function in Google Docs, she can quickly do this. To insert a comment, Allie's going to highlight the portion of the document that she wants to talk about. And then she's going to click on the insert menu, which is up in the kind of like upper left hand part of the screen, and click on comment. Now this is going to create a little yellow pop-up sticky note like window where she can leave a message for anyone that she shared the document with. In this case it's Dr. Hux. So when Dr. Hux logs into his Google Docs, he'll see Ali's comment right away and he can actually write a reply that will be added to the conversation about the text that she's highlighted. So they can actually have a conversation about this just little tiny slice of her document. When Allie logs back into Google Docs, um, she'll be able to see the comment that uh, Dr. Hux made waiting for at the bottom of the original comment. So here you can see they're, like they're having a conversation just about a small portion of the document. So that's what commenting looks like. Let's take a look at um, how actually working together collaboratively, what that looks like between two people. So let's pretend that Allie and Dr. Hux are both online at the same time, but in different places. So Allie here on the left hand side, um, we can see that as she adds to her document or makes edit, edits, we can see that Dr. Hux on the right hand side can actually see these changes that she's making in real time on his own computer. And this seems a little creepy at first, um, but it's really no more creepy than any of the stuff that we do on Facebook. Um, and it's actually really helpful when you want to work with someone else on the same document. So you can see that Dr. Hux can also make changes to the document that are reflected right on Allie's screen in real time. In addition to being free, Google Docs are stored online and are available anywhere you can access the internet. So you never have to worry about forgetting your flash drive ever again. So working together is all well and good, but what does all this mean when you have to work with your portfolio? Well, in addition to working with others with Google Docs, we can also embed them in web pages. And we can take a look at what that really means. I'm going to clean up the formatting here on our sample document so we can, um, so it looks a little bit cleaner when we go to embed it in our portfolio. 
Since I'm already logged into Google, I can get to my portfolio by going to sites.google.com. And here I'll see a list of all of the websites that I have permission to edit. I'm going to click on my portfolio page, and here on my portfolio page, I'm going to click on the tab for my resume. Now, a resume typically has specific formatting types as well as being something that you're frequently updating and adding to. And because of that, I want to embed my resume as a Google Doc rather than trying to make it something that I have to make changes to in two places. So to embed my resume, I'm first going to click on the Edit Pencil in the upper right-hand corner of my screen. Now once I've turned on Edit Mode, I'm going to delete the text that's here on my page right now. Next, I'm going to click on the Insert menu on the top left-hand side of my screen and click on Document in kind of the right-hand column of that drop-down menu. Now this brings up a list of all of my Google Docs. So from here, I'm going to find my resume and I'm going to click the checkbox next to it. Um, next, I'm going to click on the Select button and uncheck the boxes where I'm including a border and including a title and all that business. And then at the bottom of this, I'm going to click on Save. On my page, I'm going to see kind of a gray uh, placeholder window. and I'm going to click on the Center button, and then I'm going to click on the blue Save button, button in the upper right-hand corner. And there is my resume embedded right here in my portfolio. If I head back to my Google Doc and make any changes to my resume, those are going to show up as soon as I refresh the page on the portfolio. And this is going to ensure that no matter what changes I make in one place, they're reflected in the other, which is going to save me a ton of time and my sanity. The last thing that we need to think about is setting up our Google Doc so that it's visible to any visitors on our site. Now in, the Google, in Google Docs, click on the big blue share button in the upper right hand corner. On the sharing settings, click on the link that says change next to the privacy settings for your document. Next, we're going to change the visibility option so that anyone with the link um, can see our page, and we're going to click Save. And now all we have to do is click on the big blue button at the bottom called Done, and now we're all set. So there we've set up our document so that um, the folks who visit our portfolio have no problem seeing it.